Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone, wherever she is. I have to find her. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? I think maybe it's best I stayed behind. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. <coughs> Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy... Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you... I choose my next word very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping, Lee. Then what is it? A rescue. Better not fucking hurt her. I swear. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. Thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Surgical supplies. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body.
I'll have these doors open in two seconds. He's still bitten. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. By chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. I'd be happy to have them both. But... you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. We? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? See if we can make it to an empty floor, or even the roof. Sounds good. Nice and quiet, everybody. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Just fucking peachy. Lee! Lee! Oh god! Are you alive? Get up! I can't move! God damn, I'm stuck! You have to pull yourself up. Good job.
Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. It's the bite. Just have to deal with it. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny, you know? I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Hospital must have run out of doctors. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. It leads down to the street. She walked away from whatever accident happened. And that doesn't really mean much. It's an extension ladder. The last fella who used it took a tumble. going back in there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. Just need to figure out a way to get there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We look out for each other, but we sure as hell weren't gonna let you go alone. Not with that time bomb chewed into your wrist. You two have been solid since day one. What's this, day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with hay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. 
It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies too, and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. No way. It's higher than this roof, for starters. With the Bell Tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there... Uh, it might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that Bell Tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. I'll make thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. I'm fine! Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! A few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. way tons of them jesus now get back here i think i have to jump there's no way back you can make it it ain't that far I'm so fucked. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof! Come on, please. 
please. What are you doing? Don't get mad. The boat's gone. No shit, it's gone. Relax. Ben, what happened? They were waiting for me in here. Who? Vernon, his whole crew. Was Clementine with them? No. He seemed pissed you guys lost her and, well, they took it. They're gone. Ben, you are worthless. How's Lee feeling? Don't change the subject. I can't believe you didn't even put up a fight. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Find a small town. Maybe one that hasn't been ripped up too bad. At some point, people are gonna have to start rebuilding. And you guys and Clem should be part of that. I don't know. Gotta have hope. We all do. Even you. Quit talking like you're already dead. Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying, we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Bandits? Hey, chill! Here's some pills! Vernon, chill! Here's our fucking boat! This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault! Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny! Careful, guys! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around, and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive, or dead, or walkers, or worse, and I don't know! So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Ben. Go upstairs. And do what? Just go. Omi. What is it? Everyone, help Omi now! Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what?
Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to just... Get up! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah, yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? 
Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. And when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. The day before you get the flu. It's horrible. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We, uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No. That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death, and it's just more complicated than that. Well, it seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. 
How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. We don't need to get emotional. I'm just asking him how he is. Lee's right. Your boyfriend's making decent progress. Need to be ready to move. I agree. I just wanted to say, you've all lost a lot. We're still here, though. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. See that lump on his face? You did that? Mida. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I'd guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Felt this peaceful. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. What do you call this thing? Art? You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. 
I just want to help. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Stay up here. Keep an eye out. Okay, but I can't see much from up here. Just let us know if they start coming down the alley. We'll be back. Be careful. Okay! I'm okay. Just get me out of here. Shh! Quiet, Ben. Or they'll be on top of us. Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God. He's quiet. We can take our time and save his life. I can be super quiet. Fuck! Fuck! Oh god, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. Just one. Fuck, that's not enough. What? We gotta do something! You're not doing shit. You are going after Clem. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee. Lee, it's okay. God, you wouldn't want this. Damn it, Ken! Yeah, she would. I either save the kid or I get to see her. Either way. Now get back up there. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Yeah! Damn it, Kenny! God damn it! Fuck! Kenny, please!
What happened? Tried to help. What the fuck happened? There was just too many of them. Ben was really messed up, and I don't know. There's nothing else. God damn! God! I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to. All the way to the end. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. He could be tough to like, but I agreed with him most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. What's going on with you? I just saw your friends get killed. I mean before. Back in the attic. It's nothing. What's nothing? Let's just keep moving. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. I never know where their next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. You have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. 
I'm obviously not doing so hot. The decision doesn't make itself. You two should go across first. You're the lightest, Omid. I'll follow right after you. I meant what I said about Clem. I didn't doubt it. I appreciate it. How are you feeling? Good enough. Krista, you next. I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything. It's fucked, Lee. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find a boat. We'll meet north of town. A boat? We still have to get out of the city. I'll get Clementine and meet you. What if... Don't what if. I'll meet you. Thank <laughs> you. 
I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? Yeah, I know who you are. You saw my car, out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the you... taking? Do you know what you took from me? I don't care. Fuck you. You have no idea. <sighs> have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? Guy named Kenny. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Yes. If you think that now, you just wait. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You lied to her about who you really are. It wasn't the right time to tell her. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. Starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer. And a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself.
because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. I'm bitten. What? I got bit, and I'm gonna make sure you end up the same way as me. I, uh... Make sure you shoot me in the head. No. I'll be with her, and you'll be rotting in the streets. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad, too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> He could come back. It's okay, Sweet Pea. We're leaving. Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah.
in there. No, I know. Which way out? Through there. Savannah. Sure. Just a little more. So gross. <sighs> there. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Dead. Please, no! Lee! I, I was so scared! I, I, I thought you left me! I... I... I saw my parents. Come here, sweetie. 
They're dead. They really are. Uh, Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! See? Clementine, honey. What happened? No, 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 that's, that's not, no, 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 no. Yes, Clem, it is. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. We just have to think and work together. Okay. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Oh, my God. 
Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Away if he gets close. Lee. You can do it. What should I get first? So close. Just get them both. I'll try. Walker. There's only one thing you can do. You 
know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. Find Omid and Krista. They're looking for a boat. Find them. They'll take good care of you. And Clem. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What is it? No, don't worry. All right. I'll miss you. Me too. Thank mm -hmm. you.